So, um, we're still catching up on wrestling news. Lots of news. Recently, <clears throat> uh, due to COVID, there were like a whole stream of releases in the day de debut. And uh, two of the guys released were the ass fucking Bears, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. The, the worst Masters. fucking tag team that WWE's ever had, other than those two muffin top guys. As far as I'm concerned, anybody that has any type of smelly resemblance to the Bullet Club needs to go. I still to this day don't know what the fuck the Bullet Club is. Well, the Balor Club, but I feel like every one of these assholes that we hate was in that at one yeah. point. It's like the NWO of the Indies, but anyway. No, the end. The Bullet. The, no, no, don't even compare the two. There's people that say Bullet Club. Okay, it's the NWO Silver of the Indies. Can we say that? <laughs> Side brand, I hate people that say NWO was a ripoff of some Japanese thing. No, I don't care. Well, the guy who came up with the NWO was the same guy who apparently wrote the Japanese one, so it's not a ripoff, it's a readaptation. Okay, but nobody knows what the Japanese. Yeah. The NWO literally was a cultural icon in the late and 90s. And fucking the only reason it worked is because it was Hogan, Scott Hall, and Kevin Nash. It wasn't just working free assholes, but whatever, we're getting ahead of ourselves. So Gallows and Anderson were released. AJ Styles goes on some kind of faggoty rant saying Paul Heyman's a lying piece of shit and he betrayed them and blah blah blah. And then these two bald fucking zilches with green greasy skin that's just drenched with man cum go online on their shitty podcast that no one listens to because every fucking wrestler under the sun has a podcast. Are you going to listen to these two assholes podcast? They start saying, well, Paul Heyman, he lied to us, said he was backing us, and then he fucking recommended our release to Vince because Vince didn't want to release us. It was because Heyman said so. And you know what I say to that? Thank you, Paul Heyman! Thank you! You wanna know why? Because these assholes who are making retarded amounts of money because they presented themselves as these big indie stars did fucking nothing in WWE. Oxymoron, there is no such thing as an indie star. You're in the indies because you can't cut it, right, Festus? They accomplished absolutely fucking nothing in WWE. They were embarrassing to watch. They came out in fucking doctor coats and told the New Day they were gonna put their balls in jars. That's all <laughs> I remember that they did, and then they just lost everything. Of course Paul Heyman's going to recommend your release. Paul Heyman might be the greatest booker ever. He is. Paul Heyman is a businessman. Paul Heyman took a piece of junk federation like ECW and actually made it a pop culture phenomenon. Yeah. No one, do you remember Eastern Championship Wrestling? No. No. It's extreme! No, I'm not an ECW fan, but I recognize what Paul Heyman did for the business. For this business. When everybody liked SmackDown back in the day, guess that, who ran that? That was Paul E. That was friend. Paul Heyman. Paul E. Dangerously. Uh, fucking Gallows and Anderson, like, okay, yeah, you got fired. Can I ask some of you Boo -boo. freaking nerds a question? I know you're all going to say no because you all pretend that you love Japanese wrestling and you're, you, oh, I don't really watch WWE. I'm more of a New Japan type guy. Yeah, you can say that. I don't fucking believe you. Do would any of you know who Luke Gallows is if CM Punk didn't name drop him? <laughs> Let's be honest. In that shitty pipe bomb that's a decade old now, would anybody know who Luke Gallows is? Hey, what about Luke Gallo? Yeah. Hey, Colt Cabana. Where's my ice cream? Shove it in my asshole. No, you wouldn't know who he is because he's garbage. It just, it boggles my mind that people with so little talent and little to offer entertainment are going to shit on Paul fucking Heyman. Okay, yeah, you lost your jobs. Wham, wham, wham. Yeah, Paul yeah. Heyman is shifty. That's, that's on you if you didn't know that. Do you not recognize that, like, you were doing nothing and that you probably should have been fired even if there weren't budget cuts? Did you guys ever go into anyone's office and suggest, like, a storyline to yourself? And if you did, was it just, let's get the club back together? No, we're not doing that. We already know that we're not doing the club. The club's gay. So, did you do anything other than come and show up every night and saying, I want to put on a great match? <laughs> You want to put that's all. That's all these assholes know how to do is put on a great match. You didn't do that either. First of all, all your matches were boring because you were involved in it. Homoerotic gymnastics doesn't make you a good matchmaker. Paul Heyman is widely regarded as having the best eye for talent in the history of wrestling. So when he's saying you got to be released, guess what? That's on you. Get 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 good. Hashtag. Paul Heyman wants to make money, folks. He wants to keep his job. You think he's just going to release you because he's a dirty, horrible, vindictive Jewish guy? No. Which he would admittedly say he is, he but is. that's besides the point. But that's not why he released you. He released you because you have no talent. You're literally just a fucking a black hole of nothingness on the show. Can somebody in the comments please let me know what Carl Anderson did that was memorable in the frickin' half a decade that he's been here now? The fucking bottomless pit formed around Carl Anderson and he just fucking fell in and was never heard from again. Nobody would even realize. <laughs> I'm serious. They didn't have to release him. They could have just wrote him off TV. They got fucking fired and AEW didn't even want them. <laughs> they're, on fucking, they're on fucking TNA. Which nobody even knows how to watch anymore. Their champion was just a fucking woman. <laughs> That's such a great point. AEW wasn't, like, lining up to gobble these guys up, were they? No! They were there in TNA! I think they were negotiating with AEW before their contracts went out, and then they ended up re-signing with WWE, 
And then AEW just had no interest in them once they got released. That's because AEW only wants people to say we stole them from WWE. Yeah. Because they That's have, all they, they want. Just have they to want to pretend that they're exactly. They want to pretend they're Eric Bischoff. They didn't want them when they were free agents. The only reason they wanted them was so they could say, "Oh look, another guy jumped ship." A oh, little, little side note: When Eric Bischoff did that, Eric Bischoff was smart and he got good wrestlers, and he also had great plans of his own. You know, he. I, I hate this thing that Eric Bischoff didn't create any stars. Have you ever heard oh, of shit? Ever heard of Goldberg? Ever heard of Diamond Dallas Page? I got one for you. How about Sting? Sting. Sting was in WCW for years. He was just a freaking boring surfer guy. <laughs> Seriously, did you like Sting when he had the blonde hair and was fighting Lex Luger in the Wall of America? Did you like that? I didn't. That was boring. I grew up watching that. I didn't like it either. Uh. <laughs> 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 uh, Sting, Eric Bischoff created the wonderful star of Scott Norton. Wow. Who no, he's gay. He went to the Bullet Club. He did? Oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> anyway. I, I think. Oh, no. Maybe he just went to Japan. I don't know. But if you're in Japan, you're in the fucking Bullet Club. <laughs> Anything, anything remotely related to the Bullet Club, and that includes AJ Styles and Fergal, need to go. How, 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 every one of these assholes passes through that horrible Bullet Club. Nobody can tell me what's cool about them. They point at each other. And they put on great matches. Yeah, for these fans. Their matches suck. No. Gallows and Anderson suck. He sucked when he was Festus. He sucked when he was uh, CM Punk's heavy. He sucked as part of Gallows and Anderson. Don't forget Imposter Kane. That was probably the best thing he did. Yeah, because he didn't have to really do anything. He just got beat up by Kane. They're garbage. And whining about Paul Heyman, who also got fired, is not really going to give you any credibility. Yeah. The fact that even Cody Rhodes didn't want you when he had the chance to just pluck you out of free agency shows that you suck. You're garbage. Fuck Cody Rhodes. 